Hello and welcome to Bayas Fashionistas Home Edition. I am your host, Flores Rebello. It is a pleasure to have you join us on this beautiful afternoon. We trust that you and your loved ones are well and staying safe. In today's Bayas Fireside Chat Conversation, we welcome the founder and CEO of Social Revolt Agency and the leader of the Hispanic Start Hub in Dallas. Please join me and welcome in Latino Trailblazer and Mexicano, Marty Martinez. Marty, thank you so much for joining us today. No, thank you so much for having me. Uh, I'm really excited to be here and, and talk with you all about the great work we're doing here in Dallas. Marty, for those who do not know you, please share more about yourself and what it is that you do. So I'm the CEO and founder of a digital marketing agency based in Dallas, Texas called Social Revolt. Um, I started the company back in 2014 and um, you know, you fast forward to where we are today. Um, we've had the pleasure with working with a you know wide range of different clients, uh, helping them on social media strategy, uh, logo branding, websites, and um, influencer marketing, things like that. What is the Hispanic Star? So the Hispanic Star is a campaign. It's a national campaign that is a collective effort, um, um, you know, put on by Latinos from all around the country. Um, we wanted to put this campaign together to create a platform to showcase and amplify the contributions of the Hispanic community to the United States, and not only as an integral part of American culture, but also as an undeniable force um, that is shaping its future. And in a time where the political rhetoric um, marginalizes the Latino community, um, we really wanted this uh, campaign to empower our people with data and show them how truly valuable we are to the American economy. Why did you join the Hispanic Star as an ambassador and followed by a leader? This is something that um, really means a lot to me. You know, I grew up um, like many Latinos um, from very humble beginnings. Um, you know, my parents were born in Mexico, my um, mom in Tijuana and my dad in Mexicali. And, um, you know, growing up, we really didn't have a lot. You know, it was just a very humble family, very working class family. And um, what inspired me to, um, to get involved with the Hispanic Star was um, the ability to impact people. Um, you know, like I said, um, I, I'm coming from, you know, growing up in a, in a very sort of, you know, poor community. Um, I viewed education as, as my ticket out of poverty. And, you know, I'm not ashamed to say that growing up as a kid, I, I knew more people that um, got into gangs and, and, and drugs and um, that went to prison. Uh, I knew more people that did that than graduated high school or college. And, um, you know, being the first in my family to graduate high school and, um, you know, attend the University of Missouri, um, I knew that it was important for me to um, to give back and, and contribute. I feel like that's that's my duty as, as someone who has um, made their way out of poverty. And one thing that I'm incredibly passionate about is is showing other young Latinos all across the country that if I can do it, so can you. And now I've made it my life's mission and my life's purpose to um, to be the example that I never had. And um, so that's really what drives me um, each and every day. And that's really what drives my involvement with joining in the Hispanic Star. Marty, you are the leader of the Hispanic Star Dallas Hub. Tell us more about the creation of that. How was it? How are, what were the challenges that you also faced when creating this hub and bringing other Latino leaders to join you and ambassadors? It was a bit of a struggle because we were doing this amidst a, a pandemic. And, um, you know, as a business owner, I wasn't immune to the negative financial impact that COVID had on my business and, um, and other Latino businesses, you know, around the country. And um, fortunately, uh, as I was able to kind of stabilize um, the negative impact that, that it had on, on my agency um, and stop our boat from sinking, um, I was able to, um, I, I was able to kind of stabilize my company. And then I immediately thought of all of the um, Latino businesses and the Latino community out there that, um, that is disproportionately affected by COVID-19. And you know, when I started seeing this data, I was already helping with the Hispanic star on the national level, um, but it was incredibly important for, um, um, for me to do something in my own city. And um, so I knew that if I was gonna, if I was gonna start the hub that I needed 
to have the, the resources needed for me to give this 110%. Um, so uh, when the time came and, and Claudia asked me to, um, if I'd be interested in leading the Hispanic Star um, Dallas Hub, I of course um, talked to my team. I wanted to make sure that um, this was a mission that, um, that they could buy into because if this was gonna be successful, I wasn't going to accomplish it alone. You know, it takes a group of, of dedicated people. And um, fortunately, uh, it didn't take very long for my team to say, yes, this is something we want to be part of. Um, so that's kind of how it started. And, um, you know, as I'm juggling working on my business um, that's generating, you know, revenue um, um, for the agency, um, I've also carved out time to devote to the Hispanic Star. And like I said, this just means a lot to me. You know, my, my parents, my mom, She's, uh, you know, born in a, from a family of 12. And, um, you know, they all grew up in the fields uh, picking watermelons, picking melons um, right there in Southern California. And it just, it, it, it means so much to me. And I, I, I just think about the impact that, that it, it's going to have on my mom. Because my mom knows I'm doing this stuff, but um, we have a scheduled shipment to come to Dallas. Um, where through our partners at Procter & Gamble, um, we have over $200,000 worth of um, cleaning supplies and hygiene supplies that is going to make its way to Dallas for us specifically to donate um, to the Latino community that is disproportionately being affected by COVID. And she doesn't know this yet, but um, I bought her a, a flight uh, a flight down to, to Dallas because she lives in Kansas City, Missouri. And I can't wait to see the look on her face when I have the keys to the trailer and I open it up and she goes, Mijo, what's this? And I was like, you see all these things, mom? All of this, mom, we're, I, I got this from um, through the Hispanic Star and we're going to impact the lives of Latinos in our city. And that's just a very powerful thing for, you know, I, I think for a woman like my mom to see, um, to see her, her young kid as hard as she's worked. Um, you know, dedicated to, to serving the Latino community. It gets me a little emotional uh, thinking about it because it, it just, it, it, it means the world to me, you know, to be part of this. That is so inspiring, Marty. And, and what a good way to show our Latino community that they are people like yourself and the Hispanic star and every other hub that are really paving the way and assisting the Latino community. Well, to your point, like I, I think, um, the, the Latino community has been incredibly receptive um, to this movement. Um, the minute I, you know, amidst the pandemic, everyone is, of course, hesitant because of um, social distancing and stuff like that. And um, I was able to host an event at, um, at Tower Club here in Dallas, Texas, um, through uh, one of my clients, and they donated space for us to meet, um, provided uh, drinks and food, and I was able to get uh, about 35 uh, young Latinos um, in a room together and educating them on what um, the mission is of the Hispanic Star and why it's important that that we unify and we act together now uh, more than ever. And in that room, I had I had teachers that were um, raising uh, that were trying to do school drives when it was 110 degrees outside. I'm um, trying to um, raise money and get school supplies um, you know, for, their, for their young kids because as I mentioned, you know, Latinos are on the front line. You know, before the pandemic, we had the highest labor participation rate among any other segment. And post pandemic or amidst the pandemic, we also have the highest labor participation rate um, among any other segment. So what does that mean? That means that we are working you know, we, we are on the front lines, you know, the vegetables that people eat every single day, the wine that people drink, um, the Latino community, we are responsible um, for that. And it's just, it's, I just can't stress enough how important this is. And, you know, I've, I, I think this is my life's calling, um, you know, to, um, um, to help support and advocate for the Latino community, because if I can get as far as I've gotten, um, you know, despite the odds, despite, um, you know, all the challenges that I had, then, then so can you, you know, if you're listening to this out there. Um, there's no excuse um, why we can't, um, you know, rise higher together. And that's really what the entire mission 
of um, the Hispanic Star is about. Marty, share with us more about the Hispanic Star Hub in Dallas and its leaders. We're working with a great group of leaders that are really um, helping make all of this possible. Um, one of them is uh, Karen uh, Trejo. Um, she uh, uh, plays an active part in, in the leadership here, and uh, as well as uh, Brianna Gonzalez, um, who is also a, uh, she also works for my agency, but she's dedicated a lot of time and support to helping uh, bring all of this to life. Um, so without them, a lot of this stuff couldn't be possible. Share with us more how the Hispanic Star Hub in, in Dallas has been able to pivot amid the pandemic and also assist the Latino community of Dallas. Fortunately, through, you know, our partners at, at Procter & Gamble, um, you know, they've made a commitment um, to support the Latino community and other communities that are being disproportionately affected by COVID. And it's because of their generosity and the amazing leadership that they have, um, they've committed to, um, sending, uh, to sending supplies all around the country. Like we have hubs in uh, in Chicago, in Houston, in Rio Grande Valley, in Salt Lake City, in LA, in Miami, and the list goes on and on. And I, uh, to date, we've sent over a million dollars worth of, of products and distribute these out in, in these Latino communities. And, and it's just important because, you know, when, um, when a lot of Latino, you know, uh, mothers and fathers and heads of households, you know, they were the first to lose their jobs because, as you know, the hospitality industry was absolutely decimated. And, um, you know, we play a, a, large, uh, a large part in that. And one of the first things to, to go when, when um, money is, is running short are things like uh, personal hygiene supplies and PPE supplies. Um, so, you know, our, our community needs us now more than ever. And um, we've been fortunate to really get a lot of support and you know, I'm excited to um, I'm excited to continue working on this initiative. And you know, Procter and Gamble has committed. They they said that if we are able to um, distribute these products to the Latino community uh, consistently, that they'll send us a truck of um, you know two hundred thousand dollars plus of inventory every single month um, to go out to the um, you know the communities that need it most. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm committed to, um, to taking them up on that and we'll find a way to get it to the people that need it. We will take a quick break and when we return, Marty Martinez will discuss how the Hispanic Star Hub in Dallas is shining a light, creating an impact and elevating the Latina community in Dallas. Don't go anywhere. to share we have a lot really going on in Dallas and um, we hope that um, you know uh, as Hispanic Heritage Month uh, comes to a close um, we hope to continue keeping this role and to support the um, Hispanic community here in our city um, but as I mentioned prior um, we partnered with uh, Procter & Gamble and Procter & Gamble is going to be sending us over um, $200,000 worth of uh, PPE um, supplies, uh, uh, personal hygiene and cleaning supplies to distribute um, to the Latino community. And I'm fortunate to be working directly with the uh, Hispanic COVID-19 task force um, called La Alianza. And it's a organization of, of organizations um, that, that represent a lot of different Latino communities all across the city. Um, there's about 20 different partner organizations and growing. And each of those organizations um, not only have a built-in infrastructure of volunteers and supporters, um, but they also have a built-in um, sort of pipeline um, to uh, different pockets of people all throughout Dallas that have these needs. 
And so we're going to be working with them directly to, um, um, to gain access to their community. And what's so fortunate is that every organization has um, been just, um, just, they have this overwhelmingly sense of, of gratitude um, to, to be able to take part in this. And um, it, it just, it, it means the world to me to, um, to, to play a small role in that and, and helping um, those communities that, that really need the help. Through the help of a, a lot of our donors and partners um, uh, across Dallas, we've been able to raise $8,000 to pay for the shipping and freight costs um, for the truck that will enable us to receive the 200 plus thousand dollars in donations from Procter and Gamble. And um, if anybody is interested out there in, um, in uh, uh, sponsoring and being part of the donation for um, the second truck, um, you know, please reach out to us uh, directly or you can go to hispanicstar.org uh, and donate. Share with us those success stories, distributing the food or any uh, small businesses as well that you can share with us. One thing that um, I'm really excited um, that we're doing is, you know, we're, we're an agency and we've been offering a lot of our expertise um, to small businesses, specifically Latino um, owned small businesses to help them um, sort of get through these um, very difficult times. And um, typically, um, you know, we work with larger scale clients, but um, I saw the opportunity to um, identify these Latino restaurants and businesses um, that are um, negatively impacted by, you know, financially, um, but, but working with them directly and putting them through um, almost like a, a, a mini workshop. Um, that really enables them and gives them the tool to market their businesses effectively. And uh, I'm excited to be working with a lot of um, my favorite restaurants. You know, I, I've looked at a, a, a bunch of Latino owned businesses that I supported pre pandemic, but now I'm reaching out to them, offering them um, our, our expertise and our support um, so that I can enable them um, to, um, to still drive sales and to keep their doors open. Um, because I know that if I can help them uh, generate revenue, then that means that's uh, one, two, three less people that they have to lay off. So uh, I've been eating a lot of tacos lately, uh, and that's okay. I'm cool with it. But every time I'm dining out, I'm very conscious of um, the businesses that I'm supporting and finding any and every way to, to support them, not only financially, but then most importantly, devoting my time. Um, to, you know, just to helping them um, put together a comprehensive marketing plan. Um, again, that will enable them to drive sales. How many businesses have you been able to assist? That program alone, I have about um, 10 different um, businesses that we're currently helping. And um, on, the, on the larger scale, um, when we talk about working with La Alianza and uh, getting in front of, you know, the Latino community here in Dallas, uh, we're expecting to uh, impact over 30,000 um, households um, just in this first truck alone. And as I mentioned before, I know that the minute that truck comes, I already have people lined up, churches lined up, charities lined up that want to participate in, um, in, in, in this movement that we're building. So, um, this to me isn't a thing that I'm just doing for Hispanic Heritage Month or that I'm just doing this month and then I go on with my life. Um, I and my team and all of the people that are involved in the Hispanic Star Dallas Hub, we're committed to writing this out as long as, as, long as Procter & Gamble keeps sending us those trucks, um, you know, we'll keep finding a home for those donations. So Procter & Gamble, if you're listening, keep them coming. Any stories that really impacted you with helping when you started? You know, it was like the middle of summer. And, um, you know, I was on social media just, uh, you know, doing what we all do, just mindlessly scrolling. And I came across this teacher um, here, very close uh, here in the Dallas area. And it was probably 110 degrees outside. I think it was the hottest day in the sum uh, of summer that day. And she was uh, doing a uh, Facebook Live. And um, she was... Uh, doing a bit of a school supply drive to try to raise um, uh, money and also get notebooks and pencils and things like that for, um, for her school, for her, for her class. And um, she recognized that the need was much larger than her class. And I remember it was on a Friday, no, it was on a Saturday and I'm looking at it and she's on this Facebook live and it's hot. She's under a tree and she looks at the, uh, and she shows the table and there might have been maybe $30 worth of, um, $30 worth of uh, supplies there. Um, but she was out there and she had spent multiple hours out there. 
and I had reached out to her and this is right as all um, I had secured the the truck um, from Procter and Gamble and I had reached out to her and asked if I could schedule a call and um, she said yeah and I said I think that there's a way I can help you and I got on a co phone call with her and I told her what the Hispanic star was and what our mission was and um, you know, I told her about this very generous donation that we were getting from Procter and Gamble, and I said, um, you know, I would like your school to be a beneficiary of this. And then I, I showed her an example of the inventory, and the inventory includes like, you know, twenty thousand pieces of uh, of um, shampoo and conditioner, uh, ten thousand um, 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 ten thousand pieces of uh, PPE equipment, and um, things like diapers and uh, hand sanitizer and uh, toothbrushes and toothpaste and all these things and she was immediately moved to tears and you know which naturally moved me to tears you know to think that I can have that type of impact on someone and uh, ever since then like I, I, I'm chasing I'm chasing those feelings I want that type of reaction and I t and when people ask me you know oh, Marty well what why are you doing this and um you know, I love working with my clients, don't get me wrong, you know, a lot of for-profit businesses, but um, there's nothing quite, there, there's nothing that gives me um, that, that sort of internal um, satisfaction and that um, desire to, to want to do more than moments like that. And mm -hmm. I'm excited to, to not, like, I, I selfishly, I had that moment to myself because I was the only one on the call that I shared with her. But I, I'm I'm I can't wait for the other people on my team at my agency, the other people working with the Hispanic Star Dallas Hub, um, to have that same um, that so, sort of same reaction because it's moving. And I tell people that um, moments like that give me the energy of a thousand suns, you know, to work on something much bigger and much greater than than ourselves. Um, so that's that's what drives me, you know, and that's what drives a lot of people. That are involved in this movement. I think that when you do something from the heart and you know that you're impacting so many lives, there's no better reward than to continue to do that. What's next for the Hispanic Star Hub in Dallas? We're going to continue building out, you know, our infrastructure of volunteers and uh, and sponsors um, to really kind of keep this going. And um, you know, the holidays are coming around, and I I I know firsthand, you know, what it was like. Um, growing up around the holidays and they're not being you know a lot of money to 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 go around for gifts and stuff like that so um, we're going to be working with our partners um, to find a way to fill that void um, for a lot of those parents and, and support you know support our community and um, the more people that we get involved that means the more people that we're uh, we're going to impact so um, that's kind of what we have slated you know coming into this holiday season and we want to make sure that there's no family um, you know black brown hispanic um, or anything out there that um, is going to be going to bed hungry. Um, we'll make sure that that doesn't happen. And we'll make sure that every kid, um, you know, in Dallas, um, by way of the Hispanic star, we'll make sure that they have a gift, um, you know, under that tree. So um, that, those are our plans as we head into the holiday season. For more information on the Hispanic Star Hub in Dallas, where can you be contacted? You can uh, go to hispanicstar.org. Uh, and um, you can go uh, click the hubs and you can click Dallas. And if anybody's interested in donating, um, you can donate directly to our hub. There's also um, you know, uh, over 20 hubs around the country that you could donate to. If you wanna stay up to date on the work we're doing in our city, um, you can follow us on Instagram at uh, Hispanic Star Dallas. Thank you so much, Marty, for the incredible work that you and the Hispanic Star Hub in Dallas are creating uh, in our community. It is a pleasure to have you at Bella Fashionistas TV. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us today. Be sure to follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bella Fashionistas TV and our media partner at BronxNet TV. To watch more of our programming, please visit our website at bellasfashionistas.com and our media partner at bronxnet.org. Please be safe. Have a great day. Oh, 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 oh,